Morning, Miners. Packrat here after a long absence. Yeah, sorry about that. I'll try to see if I can explain anything of that. I doubt I can because I don't have a ton of excuses. Mainly just being slothful, lazy, and distracted. Um, I have a few deals going through, but that's beside the point. Uh, and I'm here standing at the world's slowest dark room. Yes, this is my giant valley trap. That's the exit point right there. This is um, unchanged down here, but it's not flowing anything. It's not because I have Etho and the gyms on here with me right now. That's actually not the reason. Um, the reason is because, well, even though I haven't been recording, I have been a little bit busy. Let's see if I can do this at the right spot. Uh, first of all, this tunnel should be new to you. Oh, one second, gotta sneeze. Okay. Yep, right point. You, go away. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if we can shed some light here so you can see what's going on. Completely flooded. So, question, question remains. Why on earth would I want to break my valley trap? Well, actually I didn't break it. I, I told you guys I'm improving upon it. So, this was stage one. Um... I've actually finished this entire half, uh, and I've started on the second half, but let me show you guys what I've been doing. Um, let me plug this back up before I do something stupid. First of all, anybody who's observant might notice that I have a whole bunch of levers in my inventory. Good for you, you are very observant. Second, you no might notice a gigantic tunnel full of ladders right here. This is what I did. I went back here and I dug out everything. Um, and instead of the single flows of water that were back here, uh, there's now a uh, uh, long line of water up at the top. And they just come down here and uh, let's see if we, could, we can show this one nice and easy. Uh, first, for one thing, th these are all half slabs for a very good reason. I don't want anything spawning back here when the water isn't flowing in a spot. Um, that's pretty obvious. Uh, second, this line right here, this is where it's dropping down and one line goes this way to continue down here, which you might have a hard time seeing is that second line um, right there where it splits off and goes into the rest of the, the uh, trap. That is what I'm doing. Wait, hold on, let me read this. Yeah, okay. That's just, that would just be strange. Uh, mushroom wool. Hmm. But then the wool... Then the wool would be all moldy. Gotta add something there. Okay. Now I'm done blowing my nose and sneezing and coughing and whatever. It's like like I've never done this before. Uh, but that, that was stage one, was digging this out on this side. Uh, stage two was adding pistons all the way across. Um, if you, yeah, let's just try and kill myself. No, don't want to do that. Uh, if you look right here, and I don't know how easy it's going to be for you guys to see, but there's pistons all the way along the back of this wall here. And they're actually able to stop all this flow of water. And we can actually, I can actually show you uh, that, that water flow because it's not capped. Uh, if I capped it, it would just give a place for something to spawn. This, and both of these lines are capped with ha half slabs. Um, so, but yeah, here, here's the water stream. I can actually just go like that. That's, and that's just all that's on top. It's just a straight line of water, nice and simple. And you can, even with, with that light, you can see the piston line down here, but that's not the interesting part. Uh, so far, it's just okay, but, so you filled your thing with water and well, for those of you guys who remember what the Valley Trap is, the Valley Trap uh, it, it works by... Oh, let's go, just go ahead and turn a few things on here. Unfortunately, I don't have it set up so I can do it any other way but this. Uh, we'll get to that. And... dry. This is going to make the server lag a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. Even though you see water flowing here right now, there's no water in there. Um, that's just uh, from the, over the top of the piston. I can't get in there, can I? Nope. Okay. Um, we'll just break a block to go in. Yeah. 
because I know, all right, anyway, I know a lot of you guys are new and you probably don't even know what on earth my ballet trap is. Um, it's it's not your norm. Just add some light so I can see. Because it, it, in the real world right now, it's actually pretty light outside, so I can barely see anything. Um, how the valley trap works is... Man, I, it, it's like I, I've never played the game. I'm going to have to break that all to get back out of here. How the valley, tra valley trap works is I basically just have large platforms that are going to have water flows going straight down here. And when the mob spawns, it's going to spawn like here. And as soon as it moves, it's going to walk into one of those streams and go down here into a chasm that's right in between um, two of these platforms like this. That's why it's called a valley trap, because it goes into a valley where it, they drop down and follow a stream to the end. Uh, it's my own design. I've, I made this a long time ago. It's actually like two years old right now, I think. I'm not even really sure. Um, but I haven't upgraded the idea in a while. And one of the things that I had problems with is, um, well, for one thing, Enderman drive me crazy. And although this doesn't really correct that problem, it does help a little bit. Um, but for two, um, I, w I, w I couldn't adjust it. So I couldn't just go in and t change the water streams because this last one down here had to be um, co controlled. You, could, you couldn't just have it, go it flow straight out if you had a stream going up from up there. As soon as it hits down here, it's going to flow straight out that way and spread in all directions at the same time. So I just had to completely fill this one with water. And um, that if you, if you can look over there right now, I doubt you can see it. Um, I'll try to turn up the brightness on the video, but... I mean, with my record, probably not going to happen very well. But if you can see over there, that's what that's what the, it used to look like, and this is what it looks like now. It's got the straight flow of, of water. And the reason I do, did that is because now if I add a stream, it's not going to interfere with that. Uh, let's just go ahead and turn on a stream so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, obviously not the first one because that's where I am. And that won't work too good. And I'm hoping things don't start spawning while I'm doing this. I mean, it, it's it's a big thing. Yeah, there we go. So that's how it works. Um, as soon as I open up one of those one of those um, pistons, it lets a, a stream of water flow through. Comes down, hits that block, splits into the two directions, and um, adds a stream here. And I can adjust the number of streams that I have. Um, if you saw one of my previous videos, I've I figured out that the probably the best is going to be uh, two gaps between them. Um, you might have seen the, the torches on the outside of the pistons were separated out just like that so I know which ones I can hit for that but right now I'm going to just turn them all back on again because I want it to stay off I don't even have to take those out I can just flood this place and I'm not exactly in need of cobble so you guys can just stay here that's fine okay so let me go turn these all back on again and lag the server once again again Sorry about that, guys, on the server. Bam, 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 bam. You see these torches here? Um, the, the only thing that you might notice that's odd is that this one right here is uh, only got one between it and where the wall is going to be. Well, it is. The only reason is because the actual width of the trap um, makes it so that I can't get this one right. If I, if I started it, like, um, at this point and then skipped two, then um, down at that end it would be one water stream here, empty, one water stream here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave the two edges both as a single stream. Um, I think that'll work fine because things can still spawn on a single wide gap. It, that, that's just going to make it so as soon as they move they're going to walk that way. I mean, they would have still worked if it was the single wide gap here and honestly that leaves two single wide gap. Whatever. Okay, we're going to go with that right now. I don't really care. Shouldn't these... Okay, so we're, we're turning these... No, we're turning these on. Anyway. Hold on a second, I just gotta check my audio. Yeah, we're okay. Did I do this right? Because they should be extended, but... Okay, so I want them to... Okay, yeah, I, I just did it backwards. I just got distracted. Because when they're when they're off, the streams are on. Okay, there we go. 
Now, I do plan on eventually automating this so I can do this all down below if I ever get the time. My, my problems with this right now is if I do that, I'm going mean, to... I could obviously just do a straight tor a torch line straight up to go to control panel down at the bottom. That's what a lot of you guys are probably thinking about. You're forgetting about something. Um, this. See all this? This is directly below that. Now, if I wanted to put a, a straight torch line going up to those, going straight down to the bottom, I would have to go through about, what is this, uh, 15, 20 blocks of water, and which means I would need to make, uh, I would need to move this out by one, two, three blocks, which is annoying. It's not like I don't know how to remove water. You guys have, I've actually shown on video that I know how to remove water pretty well. Um, but it's still a pain, and I'm actually planning on doing something a little bit different instead of that. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to only do it from uh, the surface up, and I'm going to try see if I how deep this is. I don't even know how deep this is. We got a. Uh, on, let's just take a quick look. So we're at 63, and where's the water end? It's like right here. So about 48. About right, so I think it goes 62 to 48, 58, 63. It's going to be really close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically, um, from this level here where the water starts, I think it's here. It doesn't really matter from what we're I'm telling you right now, but I'm going to ha have it so that I put a piston there that controls um, a line of sand going straight up. And the reason I'm going to do that is because the sand is not going to be affected by the water at all. It'll just go up just fine. And then I'll, when it gets when uh, it extends upwards, I'll have it control a um, be controlled by a, a torch that's pointing outwards or a repeater that's pointing outwards from a torch. So it, it it'll receive the signal, and then I can send that that signal straight up. And that'll be a lot easier to control um, than having to try to put up three walls. Plus. I think that'll be a lot cooler. So, yeah, that works. At least it's gonna. But that's that's future plans. I don't really need that right now because um, all I really want to be able to do right now is be able to turn this on and off, be able to change the the flows when I need to change them. Because every single width has its advantages. Um, the more spaces that you have between the streams, the more area there is for there to spawn. The smaller the spaces there is between them, the more likely they're going to get caught in the stream. So. Um, there's a lot of advantages and disadvantages to each one. Like, if I only made single wide streams all the way across, then there would be no spiders whatsoever. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and down here and pick up the drops that just came out because I just uh, turned off the flows for a bit, so they probably spawned pretty good. Yeah, well, not that good. Uh, there are two other people on the server, too, too so that affects things a bit. So, um... We're just going to go ahead to the other side, and I'm going to uh, do a little bit of work on the other side while you guys are here. Uh, what we, what I have to still do is I got to do like the, t yeah, do the top three levels, um, just like you saw on that other side, which means I need to uh, extend the wall out a little bit. Um, I need to extend the wall out by a single block, all the all the way to the top a little bit, so that I can get the streams proper here. Um, these are what they look like without the water stream going through them too. Um, there's still mobs in here, so it's not exactly safe, but I did keep some of the levels a little bit lit up so we could, so I could see what's going on. Um, I'm trying to put the torches where they're going to get destroyed by the water streams, but I'm not going to worry about it really right now. Um, not important. But this is what it looks like when there's no water. Um, and I had to dig this all out by hand, and you're annoying me, so we're just going to... Okay, there we go. Now, what I, one of the reasons that I want to record right now is because once we actually get up high enough, um, and I correct some of these streams, or it, this one is, is the one that I just finished on, you can go away now. I have had so many creeper explosions doing this, it's ridiculous. And uh, you're, I'm going to show you guys what we're actually going to be trying to do on the next couple levels, outside of getting the walls set up, which I might just do the walls later on, because that takes a little bit. Uh, what we actually need to be doing... Did you just... You just jumped down here. You little jerk. And you too! They are ridiculous. Knockback sword, so... 
it works pretty well. Oh, come on. Go away. Once I get these streams up, that won't happen anymore, too, which I will be happy about. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to conquer the next couple levels so that I can go through here and fix these streams. Uh, just like you, the reason there's no buttons here is because there was a creeper explosion when I cleared this one out. Uh, what we need to do is we need to come... you got to kid me again. Where? All right, we seem to be fine. Okay, what we need to do is we need to come in here freaking me out and add all these streams just like this oh did I mess that one up already yeah I did uh, right here you can tell it, it's it's lagging a little bit from me doing this um well hello <sighs> yeah okay that back on the bar. Thankfully, I already corrected the one below that, so that shouldn't affect anything. But we do need light. Okay. Uh, where was I? That's the one of the main reasons we need to fix this thing, because uh, right now what they can do is they can jump down and, uh, you know, I don't mean torment me, because that's the, I, once this thing is cleared, it doesn't really matter if they torment me or not. But they can jump down and not fall, which is completely def defeat us to the actual trap idea. I, we we want to trap them, so. This is really hard to do with traps running, too. But we're going to we're gonna manage. Computer is not happy about this right now. So. There. And as hard as that was, and that wasn't really that hard, I know. That's not the hard part. Uh, the hard part is that we're going to have to clear out the next couple levels. Now, remember, all the other levels are either lit up or flooded, right? So if they're all lit up and flooded, and I've already lit up the caves around here the best I could. Um, I mean, there's still a few dark spots. I've, I actually figured that out recently. But that means all these levels up here, um, they're pretty populated. I mean, they're still spawning right now. And I thought you guys might want to see me kill myself. So, yeah, as always, we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, finish up clearing this stuff out later. I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me dig and add half blocks to everything. Because that's boring. No, we're just going to go up here and get ourselves killed. I do have armor on, so it's not all that bad, but... Um, we need to add a few blocks here so that I can get in. Right there. Okay, and that should already be open because this is uh, how the water streams were getting in before. Um, I was just uh, pulling out a hole, so yeah. Uh, I'm just going to put another block there. All right. And I usually clear all this out before I even do this part because... Um, why is there so much light? Oh that. I usually clear all this out a little bit first before I even do this part because I, I make it so that these streams aren't even flowing so it's not interfering with anything but right now yeah we're not going to have that. I forgot to get another bucket of water. I'll make sure to do that. Let's just go ahead and turn these off. Wrong one. And why is nothing you know why nothing's attacking me is because these streams that we're still on. Hmm. Well, that was anticlimactic. Well, still, this is my recording day, so we're gonna get, go ahead and get some done, or get something done. Um, I guess I'll just try and turn the streams off up there before we go any, go any further. Uh, so where have I been? Hello? Why was? Why was that block there? Oh, I know why that block was there. Uh, I think I can just put the half slab here. Yeah, that should do it. 
Okay. So, you guys know that I haven't been doing a lot of recording lately. It's it's a, been two, a couple different reasons, but the, the main ones that I, I can probably tell you about are, uh, one, I've been really busy. Um, th there's been a lot of stuff going on out in the real world that's been driving me absolutely insane. Um, but I can I can barely see. Hold on, I got just a little bit here. As I said, the brightness levels are driving me crazy. Two, uh, I have actually got some other stuff prepared. Uh, Pack Rats Pondery. I actually have a second one set up and ready to go two, three weeks ago, actually. I had one ready about a week after um, the last one. It just hasn't gone up. And the reason it hasn't gone up is because YouTube has never approved it. It still hasn't gotten through after three weeks. And I've already submitted stuff like a, a week or so after. And I think I even submitted stuff twice to try and get it. No, no, they don't care. They ain't doing a dang thing. So that's not helpful. Um, three, um, I've actually been trying to sign... Did I just kill my light? I've actually been trying to sign up a, a contract with somebody, and I think I've got somebody lined up. Well, they lined me up. At, well, did I just... Okay. I think that's actually right then. They actually lined me up, so well, however you want to look at that. And... I'm pro I, I've just about got that got that to go through. The only thing I haven't done is sign the contract yet, just because I'm wait. I've been dragging my heels on that one. Okay, go away now. So yeah, I'm actually going to be signed up with as a YouTube partner pretty soon, which is pretty cool. Means I'll be able to get stuff approved faster, and maybe that pondery will actually go through. Uh, also, um, now that I actually have some time over the over the weekend and over the next couple of days, I'm actually going to see about getting some more content out there. Um, I've actually got a few Pack Rats Ponderies. I, I actually have about a dozen wording. The wordings for about a dozen of them ready to go, and I just gotta do the, do the recording of the uh, visual. And the visual is pr pretty much duplicated for a lot of them because there's not really a reason to record myself in a chair twice. It's still me in a chair so it's the audio that's important with that one and I, that's what I love about it so we're just going to stick with that but yeah I'm going to record a bunch of those today because I've been dying to get those done I, I really think that that's going to be a really sweet looking series and um, also uh, I, now, that, now that I'm thinking about it I'd love to get you guys involved in that one um, like I said, I have about a dozen ready to go, but I'd love to have a lot more than a dozen ready to go. And you guys, I know you guys can be creative. I know you guys guys can be creative because you guys helped me with a T3 project. And um, when you guys helped me out with that, you guys gave me some really good ideas. What I'd love to see is some more ideas for random phrases to say in Pack Rats Pondery. Um, anything will really do. I... I you guys have saw that I've done nursery rhyme st type stuff in it. That is not required. I don't need it to be nursery rhyme stuff. Uh, it can be pretty much anything. Um, actually, I don't even know if you've seen the nursery rhyme type. What did I do for the first one? Yeah, um, it was kind of nursery rhyme-ish. So, I just had to recall what I did. Kind of sad. See if this one's any worse. Now that I've stopped up the line, doesn't seem to be. Nothing is. This is weird. Uh, usually, when I do this, I'm getting swar swarmed with so many different mobs. It's ridiculous. I'm tempted to just walk downstairs, come back up, and make this more of a challenge. Oh, uh, segue. You guys notice that I'm completely surrounded by cobble, um, just like in my cobble hater, hater segment. Uh, yeah, I know it's really lame segue, but um, now I did love doing that. And I love being able to do that with Nebris and with uh, Rayman. It was a lot of fun, and I did notice that I don't think that a lot of you guys enjoyed it. Or at least not a lot of you guys finished it because I don't even think I topped a topped a thousand on my last last video for that. Um, that did kind of surprise me. It's not because I think that it's that that incredible or revolutionary or interesting although I do kind of think that in a lot of ways it is but it's the fact that it's repeatable it's the fact that you guys can take that take that idea take the rule sets that I've got going in it 
and try and do better. The entire idea of Cobble Hater is that it, it's a repeatable format, something that you guys can try and beat the process. It's not like I've done that good in it. Um, I've said multiple times that when I designed it, I designed it to be more difficult than I can possibly d uh, do well in, which is not that hard because um, when it comes to uh, the actual um, P PvE aspect and the PvP aspect of the game, I'm not that good at it. So the fact that I've developed something that I can't beat is not that difficult. And I forgot to get more water again. Um, it took me a lot of tries doing that before I started getting remembering to take an extra bucket of water when I was done too. I hate doing that. Um, we're gonna have to get another one before we go back to the, to do that la that next level. Um, okay. So um, I'd love to see you guys. Uh, I, there actually actually are a few people who've already taken the idea and have tr had started to make their own LPs for it. And I, I'm ecstatic to see that because I've this thing has been around for so long. I just want to see other people enjoy it as much as I do. Um, I've done my my time in it, but and I might do some more in it. I'm, I'm sure that uh, Rayman and uh, Nevers would love to do, and uh, MC would love to do some more in it. Not because you guys are watching, because it is fun. Um, so it's more fun for some than others, and I'm not sure how much if if they're having as much fun as I am, honestly, because. I, I, I really enjoy it. But, well, um, I, I do know Rayman loved it, so. Get that water. Okay, now let's go see if I get myself killed. Now that I've walked away, given them a chance to spawn. You can see it's still barely moving because only those those top couple floors are still untouched. Actually, I think now it's only like two floors that are untouched, so. They're not doing Oh, that's entertaining. Wow, did he teleport to the wrong spot. That's all flooded. Oh, that's hilarious. I, I, I don't know, care how many times I hear that. That's hilarious. Oh, man. Okay. Let's go on up here. Did I still forget? No, I didn't forget to plant the trees. I just don't need these two, though. Okay, so let's go up here and so, see what we can do. Now, I do plan on having a... Uh, I have a mod made for it. Um, I have somebody who's making an SMP... Yeah, I have somebody who's making an SMP version of the mod that we can use for the bucket plugin. I'd love to see if we can get one made for not just bucket, but for you guys to actually be able to use yourself. Because it's hard to be honest and, and, and make it interesting if you have to keep track of your own points and have to make sure that you're not doing this, make sure you're not doing that. I'd, I would love to make a mod, have a mod made for that. Whoa, that was quick. Yeah, this is a lot better now. Yeah, there's a creeper. Uh, one of the beauties of having a knockback sword when I'm doing this is um, creepers aren't going to blow up in my face so easily. Wow. Still not as much as I thought there'd be. Not even close. Am I getting hit? Yep. They keep walking up behind me when I'm doing this somehow. I'm sure you guys saw in the video where he was. I just missed it. Come here. Or did I knock him off? Knocked him off. Okay. But I don't... Dang it. There. But I don't really have a whole lot more to say in this episode. I do I do want to tell you I do have some more plans for more games in the Goodlands. Um, I know of at least one other Minecracker who has uh, said that he wants to build something there and I was quite happy to hear that, and I'm hoping to be able to help him with that, too. It, there's no reason for him to have to do it himself, and that will be a good video. So expect that at some point soon. Uh, if he doesn't do it, I, I'm probably going to start work. One of the things I do plan on doing in uh, when I'm done with this is I plan on going back to Goodland and start fleshing out some of those buildings. I'm going to start actually putting... Um, like walls on things. I said I would do that before, but I never did because I wanted to start working on this. See that? I didn't remember to get the bucket of water that time too. And yeah, my pick is about to break. Did I just... No, okay. I thought I broke it, that, that block again. That's the problem with an efficiency 3 pick or something like that. You keep breaking all the blocks that you really, really did not intend... Is this even... Efficiency 4. Yeah, I keep breaking all the blocks that I really didn't mean to. Okay, there's that. 
So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going going ahead and finishing up the walls in this thing and um, finishing up the last couple and uh, putting the pistons in on this side and outside side of that um, I'll be heading back to Goodland and we can actually have some ha do some interesting stuff. I'm actually going to have to use my creative brain for a little while, um, which is unfortunate because I don't really have a good one for that. But you know we'll get by. <laughs> Uh, one of the things I, I plan on doing for uh, with the walls is that in the TNT one, I plan on making it look like four old school. Um, it's it's really hard to illustrate, but I plan on making it look like four old school bombs for for like you see in the old cartoons, the big circle, big big black circle bombs. I'm planning on making four of those to to make the, make to fill up the room to make it look good, and um, that's gonna be cool. I'm trying to dig out this one, and I don't have the half slabs on my bar. There we go. But that's going to be after I finish this. Uh, either that or I'm just going to start recording that next and I'll finish this when I'm not recording. I'm, I haven't decided which yet. Uh, I'm about to kill this pick too. Hopefully it gets me far enough. If it gets me far enough, we'll go in. If not, then... Well, we won't. Is this the top level? This is the top level. This is it. When I'm done with this, the entire thing is pre pretty much going to be turned off. That's just going to be strange. And I have no more torches. Okay, so let's just go ahead and kill these streams. And by the way, the reason I'm putting half slabs for, for everything is obviously because I don't want things to spawn. But um, this, the water streams are not affected. By, it's it's as if it's as if it's hitting a whole block when it, when it does the water streams for uh, half slabs. So this doesn't affect it at all. And I like that. So last thing I got to do, I need more torches then, don't I? Oh, well, we're just gonna have to take a couple of these. Because I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. Yeah, it's just wrong to leave you guys in the literal dark. Hello. Oh, uh, another thing. Um, that Enderman reminded me. Uh, you guys notice how, how big this thing is. This thing is really, really tall. Um, I'm planning on finishing the look. The look for this too. Um, let me just uh, finish up with the water streams here, and I'll show you what I mean. Um, now, I know it's very boxy looking, and there's not much I can do about that. It's got to be boxy looking. Um, it wouldn't work the same if it wasn't a gigantic box. The actual reason that this thing is so huge, uh, again, for people that don't know what I'm talking about, for my old stuff, is because I wanted to make it tall enough for Enderman to not show up on top of it, which didn't work because evidently they can go pretty high up there. I don't remember the actual height, but it's 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 tall. It's really, really tall. But when, um, so what I did is I just covered the entire top with water, so that when they so that they can't teleport up there and stay up there. It's actually all half slabs too, so that nothing else can spawn. And grab one more stream of water. That's it. This is all done. Um. So everything else I'm going to be doing off camera, pretty much. Good thing because my pick was about to die. So yeah, let's put one there. Okay. So what I'm actually planning on doing is I'm planning on taking this this box and first of all I'm going to have to extend the wall out um, a couple more this way. That's just because of the way that this thing is designed. I'm going to need the wall to extend out. That's that's neither here nor there. That's going to come down. Um, that's completely pointless. It's just to get to the top, and I don't need to get to the top for or anything. Although, I think I will go up there just so I can show you guys what I'm planning on doing. Not that it's really necessary, but it's kind of easier to see the perspective when we're all the way up there. Plus, it's really high up and, well, it looks cool. Also, uh, when these things are done, I can just uh, have the... Uh, well, you'll see in a second. Uh, what I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on... Uh, another thing you guys know is that I love the pillar designs, and I've used them for a lot of things, but I haven't done many pillars on this server and I couldn't think of a way of setting up the pillars here so that they can't um, spawn mobs in them some way but I fought, figured something out what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it so that they're pillars that that have the columns on the bottom covered in water and I'm thinking that that's gonna look cool I'm gonna have the pillars themselves where um, the inside is, is streams of water itself and when it gets to the bottom I'm gonna have the water flows come out come out so that there's uh, no space that's not covered in water at the base so that when uh, Enderman teleports onto it, inevitably he'll get shot right back off of it again. But um, that is going to be really cool. So I'm going to put a pillar there, 
there and uh, mirror it on the other sides. And I'm going to have that come up to the top. And I don't know, I might do a little thing connecting them, but I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm probably just going to use uh, simple half slabs to, um, not, not the cobble half slabs, but the smooth stone half slabs to connect them all the way around. And I'm thinking that that's going to look really freaking sweet. And that'll actually finish this up so it's not just a cobble box. Um, not that I mind it, because cobble, I mean, I know a lot of people think cobble is really an ugly texture. And in a lot of ways, it is. It's, oh, I forgot that's all half slabs, that's why I can see through it. I, I, I used to, a long time ago, that was open, and I could walk through it. Yeah, not anymore. But um, I, I obviously I don't mind cobble. The reason I developed the cobble hater challenge itself was to get people to appreciate the, co the cobble itself o all over again because it really is a very helpful, useful block in Minecraft and it doesn't get the appreciation that it deserves. It's one of the basic building blocks and yet people hate to build with it. I, I'm not entirely certain why. But that's pretty much it for now. Um, I'm out of stuff to talk about while I'm here. So we're going to... Where, where am I, anyways? It's just the straight shut up, right? Oh, I know what I did. Wow, because this is a new this is a new tunnel to me that I just built. In order to get under there, it's uh it's from the middle. We're supposed to go here. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Um. Hopefully, by next time, this will be flowing a lot better. And I'll have something more useful for making TNT to play in the good land with. Uh, but as for now, that's pretty much it. You guys have a good one.